At, at this time, we're uh, quite excited to introduce another brand new feature never be see before <laughs> seen uh, on my mouth here. Uh, here with a weekly report, the first installment thereof from his room, the much sought after and celebrated comedian and late night correspondent, Mr. George Miller. Hi, this is George Miller. And this is my room right here. And I've lived here now for about six years in apartment 303. I used to live next door in apartment 304, but I moved because I wanted to be closer to town. You might notice that pile of stuff over there in the corner. A lot of people don't know it, but underneath that pile of stuff is singer-songwriter Eddie Rabbit. Eddie's taking a nap under there, but he'll be getting up and going home in a few minutes. Right here is a mirror where I write my name in blood once in a while just for something to do. I stay in this room almost all the time. Occasionally, I'll go out to Denny's or to my mother's for a hot tub bath, but then it's right back here to my room after about a half an hour or so. I'm really living on the edge. This is my new watch here. It has no numbers and no hands. It's for people who don't have any activities at all. I haven't always lived here. I was brought up in the little town of Squirt, Washington. Squirt is a very unusual town. It has a population of about 175 people, and everyone in the town is named Roland. I went to Squirt High School where Mr. Parks, Roland Parks, that is, was my favorite teacher. He taught history and had some very unusual theories on the subject. Like Mr. Parks always claimed that Abraham Lincoln was never really assassinated, that he just had the wind knocked out of him. After high school, I worked as a prison guard at San Quentin for nine years. I finally quit. I don't know, it just wasn't fun anymore. I like to think I'm a very sensitive person. For example, last Wednesday, I was up all night and I saw the sunrise. And it was such a beautiful sight, and I'm so sensitive that I just had to call and tell 25 or 30 people who would have been getting up in a couple of hours anyway. I don't plan to spend the rest of my life in this room, by the way. I hope eventually to join my Uncle Lewis. He's eccentric, but very independent. He's almost 80, but he lives by himself. He has his own little apartment there in the Texas School Book Depository. One thing about me is I hate doing work that I find out later I could have gotten out of. Like if I wash my car and then it rains. I have this recurring nightmare that I'm going to die with my bed made. I mean, things like that happen every day. And they wonder why a decent man gets angry. This is George Miller, and I'm still in my room. He really is still in his room.